Hi, I'm Kevin Eikenberry, and I'm here to help you reach your potential as a leader and a human being. Welcome to Remarkable TV. Today we're talking about your experience with confidence. Are you ready? Well, let's get started. I love this question. Think of a time when you were highly confident and what happened? Yeah, I actually want you to think about that question. Here it is again. I'll give it to you again, and then I want you to think about it for a minute. And if you're watching this on video, of course, you can just hit pause. But here's the question. Think about a time when you were highly confident and what happened? Okay, of course, I don't know what actually happened for you, but I can bet what I'm about to say is true. Number one, uh, you were well-prepared in that situation and your preparation actually helped to build your confidence. You were well-prepared and you got good results. Maybe you got great results. And because of your preparation and your good results, your confidence grew further for the next time. And also bet that this is true. You have positive memories about that. You're smiling, at least internally, as you think about this situation that I encouraged you to think about. Would you like more of that? Would you like more of those past experiences that were where you had great confidence? Of course you would. Well, let's take the backwards of that. Let's take the opposite of that as well. Here it is. Let's think of a time when you weren't highly confident. I'll just use an example that you might relate to. Uh, you got ready to take an exam and you weren't very confident in that exam. And were you as prepared as you could have been or should have been? Probably not. Did that, in, did that have an impact on how confident you were? Probably. And did you get great results? Probably not. Not as well prepared, not as highly confident, not as good of results. Your confidence didn't grow as a result of that, now did it? Now maybe your behavior changed, but your confidence didn't grow as a result of that sort of negative set of circumstances. And you don't leave all of that with a positive experience. It's probably a little more painful one. So I've given you both a positive example and a negative example to approve to you some points about confidence that we can use moving forward so we can have greater confidence. The thing is, confidence is important and we can do some things that will help us to manufacture it for ourselves. So let me share with you the facts about confidence that you've already proven to yourself, but I want to lay out for you, generalize for you, and help you use moving forward. Here are the facts about confidence. Confidence grows with preparation. The better prepared you are, the more confident you will be. Pretty much a profoundly true thing, which means what? We can, even if we don't have a lot of confidence in a situation, make sure in our control to be better prepared. Confidence grows with preparation. Number two, confidence creates better results. By itself, in and of itself, our confidence helps us do better. Our confidence helps us build our skills. It's profoundly true. And when that happens, when we are well prepared, when we have high confidence and we do things go pretty well, our confidence grows further. I have just described for you something called the very powerful confidence competence loop. When, as our confidence grows, we get better results and have greater skill, try some things, build our skill, which leads to, and when that goes well, it leads to greater confidence, which takes us back to building our skills and results, which leads to greater confidence. And it's an upward loop, an upward spiral, if you will. If you've ever seen the spiral that's a part of our company's logo, that's what it comes from. It came from me wanting to mentally be thinking about this upward spiral of learning and growth driven by and fueled by confidence the confidence competence loop. Now, I am not talking about fake confidence. I'm not talking about arrogance. I'm talking about something that's real and not fake. I'm not talking about something that we just show on the outward side, but I'm talking about deep, personal, internal confidence. You know when you've got it. And when you had it, chances are all of the things we talked about have been true. I challenge you, I urge you, I encourage you to think about how you use these facts, how you can use the confidence competence loop to build your confidence and build your skills and get greater results. Let me close with today's tweet. Your experience tells you that when you started with confidence, you got better results. So do more of the things that will build your confidence and you will get better results.
you can build your confidence by having the right inputs into your life. And one of the ways that you can do that is by joining us for our, what we call our daily email. It actually comes out every Tuesday through Friday. It's two to 300 words. It's short, it's to the point, it's inspirational, it's informational, it's aspirational. It will help you build your skills, build your confidence. We hope you'll join us. All the information for doing that is right here. And we'll be back here again next week with another episode of Remarkable TV.